As you probably already know that I have a weakness. And uh, some of you may know that it's PlayStation 1, especially the games. Usually I buy lots, bigger bundles in order to complete and refurbish my collection. And what do I do with the leftovers? Well, I sell them. And the ones I love I keep and put on my shelf. I truly love that the guy who shipped those games from eBay to me used a box, a sturdy box, and packed them tightly. None of these cases have taken any damage, unlike my previous unboxing video where every case was broken. You see, I have a list of games that I really wish to get, but buying them separately is usually very expensive. Even if you find a game and with the right price, you pay about 35 to maybe 40 euros for shipping. It's preposterous. That means getting games to Estonia will set you back no less than 50 euros. But buying bundles usually costs around 120 to 240 euros. And that buys you about 20 to 30 games. If the one you seek is in there, you might even get a hefty profit if you sell the rest. With that specific bundle here, I was eyeing only one game, Chicken Run. I'm missing that one and it has been on my wishlist since, since I can remember. You remember that, yes? Yes, of course you do. I do have some other games on my wishlist, like Crash Team Racing, Command & Conquer Red Alert, the classic version of course. And to be honest, collection-wise, I don't have much to go, since I only collect games that I really enjoyed playing. Might I add that the copies I had were pirated discs burned by tech-savvy adults. All these games ran on my modified PlayStation. Living in Estonia in the 90s was similar to living in the aftermath of modern-day Ukraine. Salaries were low and it was very difficult to get selection of games here. I remember going into Kaubamaya, a department store whose name actually translates to department store. It had about 7 or 8 PlayStation 1 games behind the glass case. All these games cost about 300 to 800 kroons. It was one fifth of one salary, so <laughs> 1998 if I'm not mistaken. Well, yeah, medium wage was about 3743 kroons measured on 25th of May 1998, so you can do the calculations. Games were expensive, but while the game prices have gone down over the decades, uh, their selling volume has increased exponentially and the quality has gone down also exponentially. So it all kinda makes sense to produce shit and sell to many than to produce gold and only count on few. History has sadly shown that quantity over quality wins every day, as we've seen over the past three months with the latest debacle of Battlefield 2042. I've not bought the game as a protest, nor am I going to buy a new copy whenever. In a few years I will buy a second-hand version for 15 euros just to have something to show and tell about in the future. It goes right next to Anthem. Scheiße, I got derailed here. Well, this video is still about PlayStation 1 games and of course unboxing the great box right here. And to be honest, I haven't played more than only maybe a half of those games in this box. Therefore, uh, most of them will be sold. Alrighty then, enjoy the rest of this unboxing. I am Silly Lamas and thanks for watching. Till next time!